Well, this is going to be interesting to see how uh, Le Grand Gua functions in a tournament setting or a league setting because we've obviously only had it, what, half a season? A few weeks? So, obviously, Siege is completely different to, to doing it in a tournament. So, I'm going to be interested mm -hmm. to see if they have similar strategies because strategies, they've obviously probably been scrimming against similar teams because they're both from the. Um, from their clown jester alliance on EU1. So it's going to be interesting to see how they go about doing this. Obviously, Eden are going to be feeling good winning to an attack and a defense on Reganopolis. Yeah, they definitely have the, the momentum going forward yeah. um, and going to have they're going to have their uh, tails up ready for this uh, yeah. final fight, knowing that they can get it over and done with uh, in this fight. And, and if, even if they did lose this next one, it's not the end of the world. They could technically afford to, to make tw t mistakes twice, if you like, and, and drop two rounds and still be in a in a position to, to win the fifth. But um, the way that both teams have played tonight, I honestly can't see it going that far. Yeah, I think uh, with Eden on the attack of the Gland Glor, it's been the first kind of team to defend on a, this kind of competitive side of this map. It's going to be hard for them to to do anything about it and not know what to do and how to go about defending it against them because it's the first time it's happened and uh, yeah yeah i think people that are watching it now and they're preparing it for the next matchups like pongard going on to play that next they will they'll, they'll learn from these uh two attacks or potentially only one attack yeah. uh, from eden here to see how right. it's be defended so we're gonna go guys the, the battle is ready it's uh, eden versus blame elias game three match point for eden uh third place final up to you guys, it's let's go. There we go. Oh wow, look at all the short swords for Elias. I don't, I don't see that going well. They got seven oh, yeah, short that swords. Is a lot of short swords in the defense. A couple more pole axes. There's an Adachi. Well, did we they see got quite a bit of cavalry though? Look, look how many outright are they get they're sallying out. I think oh, they're going oh, balls to the wall. They're gonna leave Aranor maybe with Madao on the A point and just sally out. Look, they're all starting to supply. Ah, that's going to be an interesting strategy here. This actually might work out because it is only units of javelins that are outside here <laughs> for uh, five, six Eden on the attack. Brachio out though for Eden if they keep it how it is and not swap anything over. Yeah, that's true, Fort Brachio will be as well. Fort Brachio will be useless against uh, Javcav, so I mean, but they've got a lot of Keshigs, they've got them. Cataphracts as well, Armigas. It's going to be and interesting to see what goes from here. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is this is definitely going to be an interesting strategy here. A little... I, I do enjoy a style I played on NA for so long that I... <laughs> it's kind of how NA play their games, and they love their cavalry. So, I mean, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. I wonder if this was their strat from the beginning, or if they're like, fuck okay. it. What, what can, let's, what can let's we lose? Yeah. <laughs> just do something that they're not going to expect and just go for it. Might well be. Maybe a last ditch attempt to I see mean, what they can do. This is going to be rough though, because look at the units that um, that Eden have got. Even like most of their units, in some way, shape, or form, counter cavalry. If you get a good javelin throw off, you're going to counter the cav. Um, they've got like three or four sets of javs out as well. They've got a lot of Fort Brachio. I think the only unit that's technically not uh, anti cav is their claymores. Yeah, that's very true. And Namcams, I suppose, but. Namcams. Everything else. Well, Namcams. Got... Yeah. <laughs> right. So, oh, look at this. The they've already set up a treb ready for the cav they've mission coming though. out, but they've missed it. And How quickly did them trebs come, run... come in as well? That was like yeah. instant. Right. So, how are they setting up here? They're coming up from both different directions. Blame me as well. It's not even. They try to split them so they can't basically the get there. The... Yeah. Can't treb everybody. They can't get everything set up. Vasectomy. Called in the Treb there, but obviously Treb comes in and Mr. Tuck managed to avoid it here. The Sally out is they're trying yeah. to charge in on that one block around in the back here. And the right hand side pog, there's a couple of people dying there, but Pepe Four dies first off. But yeah, it's the not attackers really... have lost more units so far as well, 164 to 82. But Elias have to be careful because the longer the fight goes on, if they ain't got rid of their Fort of Brachio, just this is a fairly yeah, big yeah, block. Bracker will deal so much damage in here if he can get general root falls. It's down to nine on the attack here. It's worth for Elias but the so Treb's far, gonna though. come in perfectly well. Wow, look at that Treb. Yeah. There's a nice cluster of units there at that point. But like, the Treb's are so close on this map. It's, you, you click the button, and then like what two seconds later, not even two seconds later, the Treb's land. 
At least I can pull them back there, looking though. at it, though. Yeah, definitely. They've lost 186 units. Obviously, they had a lot of cavalry out, so... But they've killed 380, so they, they're like yeah. 200 units extra up on this as well, so that's good. And they've still got the, their the leadership majority cost of their could... cavalry. The leadership cost could be similar, though, to be could fair. Be. It was ja it was a lot of outriders, um, so they're definitely a lot less uh, leadership here. But they're pulling all the way back to B as well, which makes sense. Farm I won't defend A either. Yeah, defend defend A would be a nightmare. Um, B's completely trap safe, isn't it? Pretty much, unless you're like at the very back of the the, the circle. Yeah, uh, once you're down the kind of bridge, <clears throat> further down the bridge, yeah, you're trebable. Yeah. But yeah, for that most part, you're uh, you're safe Obviously, inside B. The camp place. You know why? So they're not going to be able to get rid of the, the the little bridges anywhere. But sorry, might be able to get rid of this one here. But you know why? They're taking out a lot of Iron Reapers, and uh, Modal is ready for the defense. And Fort Abrasio is in there as well, and then ready. Um... Six sets of Iron Reapers for the attackers as well. So they're probably going to go straight down the bridge and try getting through this like this little keep on the middle of the bridge. I don't, I don't, I, I don't even know if I would even do that, like, because that is a choke point and a really tight choke point. I try and come in from the back, which is uh, where this little supply point area is, or the little fort that you take down the side, and you get the bridge and up. The, Maybe they'll the, come the up bridge, that bridge yeah. and then the other bridge if you come bridges, and you can get the flanks in from behind. And then when you, you start having to rotate all the heroes and units back, then you get them into a trebleable range. So that's probably what Eden are going to try and do here. And I saying that, I reckon they might go full full send behind and come completely from behind and try and make Elias come into a position where they're going to be able to be trebbed. Yeah, like if exactly they come all that, the yeah. way around and come like, um, you know, like the back, if you like the back staircase where Blood Story is now, where those units are running up the staircase. Do you see it? I reckon they might go full send with all fifteen there. Well, that try supply point back pull. there is crucial here as well from like blame Elias' side because that if they, if they he didn't manage to get into there and take that. There is no way of them getting their units back and healed up. They have to go yeah. really far back. And I always feel that that's where the push will come in from. They obviously get them into a treble position as well. So um, as you see, Blame Elias is moving all their units kind of closer to this uh, position. Um, so they're actually going to be in a more treble area. But it is things like Senjis and stuff there that are trying to deal some damage to the Eden players that are kind of moving up. the, going to start making their way across the bridge in just a moment. I think the damage that Eden have just taken there, though, taking that little little extra point for the grapnel bridge is, is negligible. Um, I don't think Elias putting all their units so far back is a great idea, though, because I'm pretty sure a yeah, lot of that no. alleyway is trebable. Yeah, I think in that position there, it is very trebable. Somebody sight on that. Um, it just depends on where the heroes are, because you're not going to call a treb in, really, until you get onto that bridge or past that bridge. So, yeah. Um, they did manage to destroy the bridge though. The little small bridge to the right hand side there was destroyed, so they're not crossing that way. So there is only really Eden and it's gonna be through the main bridge that's just been built. Um they're gonna to have to rebuild the, the small bridge to start with. Which I'm not too sure when they count on on the cooldown on that, but still a wee bit of a wait and obviously that delays an extra bit of time there for uh, Blame Elias to kinda of sort themselves out and position themselves better. Yeah. There's also Twelve mortar. minutes though still, so they've got time, man. There's also that mortar that Sexy Gobab has that's built onto the area. They also get a free mortar there, so they're going to have to take units out that, that are yeah. defending that top of that bridge here as well. So that's going to help them as the, the small bridge has just been rebuilt and Eden start making their way back through the the back end here to try and get towards the supply point. Overnight is on the supply point, capping that. Well, AS and Mag is trying to see what units are there, see what the positions are. If somebody gets up, they will can stand the treb ready and prep it at the top of that stairwell and that will wipe a lot of units there at that point yeah they i think all as soon as together, eden actually get into the but... fight here and get like up with vision onto that one alleyway it's going to be rough for blame Elias because every single treb will hit exactly so what units is uh eden starting to choose here they've got plenty of uh Reapers. Iron Reapers here, Senjis, <laughs> Nunadiers, yep, Iron Reapers, Iron Reapers, Palace Guards, some grey hair in there as well. Shenzhen and Zakalian against that blob as well will do absolute work. Here we go, Vasectomy is making his way up the top of the stair, he's going to be the first person to get in. Now they're just going to start placing trebs. Yeah. Surely. I don't know, Would you? where would you treb? Would you, I would treb in front of you, just like more in front of where they are just now, because they're going the to move towards <laughs> 
Just I, I would even I would I would try before <laughs> the blob because they're going to move their units, right? So always pre like tread to where you think they're going to move their units. So I would have, though, they're, they're pulled back. Yeah, I would have moved my units further back uh, and tread further back if it could reach that. But I'm not too sure how far these trebs actually reach. So that might be like the reach of the treb, and the only way to get them into that treb zone is by bringing up your units here. So Eden will start to do that. That um, treb's a good one though. That hits normally. Like most of the most of the shots, I think maybe the two from the if. I think most of them hit, look. One, two, three, yeah. Four, oh, oh yeah. the majority of them would fit, apart from that little side wall that hits there. But um, what you didn't have to do is push up and make them engage them and then trip, so they can't move. So they're forced yeah, so into actually taking the fight. Them Namcans are going to do work do that the now, though. He does that move the units forward with the uh, ISGs here at the front here, with uh, plenty of units from behind, palace guards ready. Just going to constantly try them to keep pushing Blame Elias back. That's and maybe that's clever from Elias as well, like baiting the Trebs out and then just constantly moving. Just constantly moving back, yeah, staying out of the way of it. Matix is in the back here, look. A potential. I think where they've set up as well is kind of Treb safe, isn't it? Like, I, I think maybe they can only get hit from like one or two from the, the side. Yeah, the ones See, from the no. sides will, will potentially hit, but I think for the most part they hit the well, wall. There's four that hit there, look. Yeah, if it, yeah that one side hits, yeah. Because I'm looking, if you like, from the very end spawn, from the defenders towards B, and like all of the right hand side for Trebs hit a lot of the space there, and then there's only like the one that's right behind the keep, behind A, if you like, and there's one behind the, what, what is it, like the church tree supply. That one would miss as well. Yeah, there we go. This is a left hand side kind of Trebs here. Let's see what we hear. There will be any. I think three will imagine to time. make its way in. One. Two, three, yeah. Yeah. And the one from the right hand, uh, the other side doesn't have it. But the like, weird thing about this here, though, is if Eden just constantly keep whittling them down with these uh, like range classes and units and Zykelians, then they're just going to whittle them, their units down. And then you can start moving forward slowly and slowly. If Blame Elias keep backing off, then you're still going to get the point. Yeah. For free. Like, they, they, like, like so Elias have to move and, in and. Yeah, Blame Elias at this point will then be. It closed off from their home point. They'd have to go down the stairwells on the right hand side and their way. I think Eden have maybe upstairs. wasted too many trebs though because Ooh, look at that bomb go off though, the Shenjin bombs from uh, Elias. There we go. Eden Eden will start to cap here now. What is Blame Elias is gonna do here now? Are they gonna try and have to like, go in. Are they gonna go in from either side here? There's gotta be a good encounter here between the two of them. Biggie and Blood Story out there fighting on the right hand side we Clo the mercenary all short shorts fighting on the left hand side. Feels, Eric. Eden got Reaper control of B, though. In. If they take this now, I'll send that missile straight come up from point. behind. Yeah. Down to 12 heroes on the defense for Blame Elias here. Treb's still coming in, but these Trebs don't know hit at this point in time where it is, but it's still a deterrent at this point. One of them, t oh, a couple of them hit They're there, the heroes. There's going to be like, 11 heroes alive. B is taken. Just, well. just rush, guys just rush are, end point. Going to go if home I, point, yeah, let's see who If goes. I was Eden, I'd get Pepper Thor and Matex to just go straight end point. The closest ones to the supply point, yeah, like the end. There we go, Vasectomy, everybody, the whole set of Eden are just rushing back because they're closer yeah, than yeah. Blame Elias to the home point. There is no heroes back at the home point either. Um, they just spawned in, but they're going to get got, a few seconds of a cap off already. Llama, Llama the Alex is coming in with a, a unit you know, of cavalry here. So he's got a unit of uh, cataract lancers coming in, but they have been stopped and stunned. That was actually completely stunned. Yeah, that perfect, was perfect yeah, timing. Yeah, very well played from. Some of the cataracts got onto the point now there, just to kind of push some of the heroes off overnight, trying to run away. So is a general reap trying to run away, but he will get picked up by three different heroes fighting him there, and Eden he will have fall lost to the his most yeah. units as well though. They're on 456 left over to 630 from um, Blame Elias, so they're still. In a bad space because they lost the um like the the sally out to to blame mm -hmm. Elias. Ooh, trebs and come in there. That's see how the quickly the trebs the came in. Wow, Jesus though, there were They've so got many one trebs. One left in. though, one left, and Elias one. can basically just sit there and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the harder part now. If you don't have trebs for the home point as well, the home point's probably more trebable than any of the other points in the map. So yeah, it was very interesting to kind of waste them all prior to it. Eden got With, a lot of reapers out this time as well. Yeah, five, so six got sets of eight palace reapers, guards and five, six sets of palace guards. Yeah. And then on defense, so they've still got plenty of units out here as well. Though. So they've got more units from well. IPGs included and stuff as well. So they'll be able to 
stop these uh, Iron Reapers in their path if they get them quick enough. They, they get them on their charge. Shenzhen and Zakalian up as well. Um, the attackers have also got two sets of Shenzhen and one Zakalian. This is going to be interesting, man. But um, Blame and Elias have got unit advantage. Let's have a quick look at heroes. Oh, let me click. So, oh, it's very even. So, mm -hmm. it is pretty even. Eden have lost 14 and Blame and Elias has lost 12 so far. So, respawn time is going to be very similar. Although Elias have got an advantage because they've got zero or one deaths per person and a couple of players from Eden have died twice so far. Yeah, General Reap's died twice. You've got and the who died me. twice. Yeah. And obviously, there's one treb left, so Elias is still playing so that their units are in a very safe position. Avoid the treb, yeah. But, but they only have to treb. avoid they one don't... more, and then they're laughing. But they, but they won't know that, right? So, I, I mean... think shouldn't... Oh, no, you do. They, 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 hopefully, they'd be counting, so they'd have a rough idea that there's maybe not that many trebs left to go. So no, there's like a militia thrown here from Eden, as you can see. They're trying to deal some damage over the wall. They throw it over the wall, yeah. Look where Bloodstory is positioned. Oh, he's like, run, run up, run up. He's run up to see what he can see <laughs> over the wall. Just popping his head Very up. Very interesting, yeah. He's popping up to see what he can see. The units are there, but it's what clever, Blood clever Story from Bloodstory. Oh, I think got he's got his trenches, he? <laughs> he's, no, got he's got woodcutters. <laughs> He's, I was thinking, how's he jumping players. and placing his bombs? And I looked and I was like, oh, he's not. He's got woodcutters. Yeah, it was the, the guys from Eden that used their bombs over the wall to try and see what they can do. But I don't know. Eden's got six and a half minutes here still to kind of play with. But in terms of push-wise, they've probably got like two pushes out of them um, to eventually try and get a way forward in here. But I um, the way they're so. positioned here... They know they've only got the units for a full push this time. I reckon if they if they would both lose this, like say they all use they all lose their units for this push, Eden know that on the next push they've not got enough to do anything. Yeah. I reckon, and they're going for one decisive push, like slow and methodical. Oh, no, they're no, they're doing it, and they're making their way down the stairwell. So here come some units coming in from the back here. Laser Imperator, Palace guys round and brace. Zeng Zenga comes in second with his and braces his. And then the ISGs gets marched. going off as well. Uh, yeah, a couple of IPG marches coming in all together. But then if they've done the IPG marches too early, the Iron haven't even... Elias have got... Eden might have the opportunity here at this point with the, the push if the IPGs are being used too early. It's harvest time! Yeah, they're flanking oh, them. The overnight overnight coming in the Namio. back with, uh, yeah, Nemo with the Iron Reapers. Cav Cat Charge is coming in there though and... Hero-wise, it's very Pick similar units, still. Yeah. Lama by Alex has uh, picked up Ghost X in that little charge there. We're uh, we're 13 for 13, and uh, we're scrap, pretty man. Lots of units have fell, though, and that, that, these both pushes for both teams. Yeah. Eden down to 223. They've not used that treb yet, and there's 8 on the, de uh, the defense. But I think Eden slowly, won that engagement slowly... unit-wise. They definitely killed yeah, more. Yeah, definitely closed the gap on the unit terms, and... Uh, but I think, like I said, the IPGs were a bit, uh, a bit preemptive. I think they're used like to their too IPGs many at once. They should have staggered them. Yeah, there was like two marching at the same time, but one of the march was actually quite, quite far back. Yeah, that yeah. it wasn't even touching anybody yet at that I point think, in time. I think a problem um, they'd have had there as well. There was, the um, the point, so. there was there was a lot of reapers in there, so that I think even if they would have walked like staggered, that the the reapers have got the uh, stun immunity, haven't they? And you can like change weapon as well to get out of being stun locked. And yeah, stuff. exactly. You've got plenty of uh, heroes dying for Eden though. They're down to nine. Yeah, thirteen. They've not used that tribe yet as well, and they've not got units for pushing here. They're using the Zykele militia. To... I think this is going to be game, you know. Straight back at them. So I think yeah, I think Primelius looks like they're they've done a good enough def defense here, and they've got double the units available. What? They've got less Units hero deaths as well this time. 10 versus 13. It's quite a, it was a very close battle, and we did kind of manage to ease their way in there, Eden, but at this point in time, they need to wait on a couple of respawns here because the people that have units are not alive at this point in time. You've got Palace Guards and Zykelian Militia available so far, and that's it for the attack. And uh, on the defense, they're still think they're running around with Armagers. They've got some Palace Guards, Senjis. They've sent everyone Arisland. back to get new units as well. Like if, More if units Eden well, yeah. would push now, obviously they can't see that a lot of the stuff from Blame Elias is back on their end base, but 
if they could try pushing now and actually get some work done, man, that would actually be pretty, pretty useful for them. But obviously, they don't, they they can't see what we can see that like the majority of blame Elias was just at their back supply, and Elias have got a lot more stuff out now. Two sets of outriders, two sets of armigers, javelin sergeants, palace guards, fought Abrakio and Shenjins against. That's it. An well, Iron Reaper and a Palace Guard, say, Eden's got everybody back and they only have two units really in the grand scheme of things for this whole fight. You've just noticed though as well, why does it say, oh, there's two heroes over there, that's something different, doesn't matter. Are oh, you on about okay. looking on the mini map, it looks like there's two heroes, hey, I just had a look at yeah. that as well, I was like, why is there two heroes over there? I was like, oh, no, it's what not. are they doing, eh? <laughs> like, yeah, it's not right. Okay, that's, that's so, Donderous, Overnight and all that are looking to see what they can Smiling and making some emojis. Uh, uh, blood story over the wall. I think they just want to Eden. kiss each other, don't they? They're like, yeah. oh, come here. <laughs> Eden have started to set their push up now, and they're starting to make their way down the stairway. This is going to be push uh, as things stand. There is only two We've minutes one last left. One as well, though. But I don't yeah, think they can do anything in this, this, this yeah, space. This I don't think space. they can place it, but I think they can only hit maybe one or two. We'll see Let's now. See how many they hit here. There's That's so many houses in the if way. It does hit, but I don't know if any of them do hit. I don't think. Oh, Ooh, wait a minute. Do. Oh, lie. We, Three we, do. We hit a couple of them in there. I know it didn't really though. do much, but yeah. And now we're Elias are going through with big everything. charge. Big, big charge cavalry charge as well, yeah. From the army goes from Brav, though. Down to 83 units versus 205 units. Yeah. Um, and it does heroes look like it is literally going to be 14. heroes for Eden. It's all about the heroes for Eden, and so far, if they get themselves caught out too quickly and too far away from their own heroes uh, on their own team, they will get picked off quite quickly because of the units that are on uh, the side yeah. of Blame Elias with 1 minute 50 left. I think it's going to go to a game four here at this point. Um, yeah. We're going to see Eden have to try and do a defense for their uh, their match point and their win of this, uh, this series. Might even go to a fifth final in the match as well by the, the way things could go if... Uh, if Blame Elias find a way to attack it better than... Blame it, Elias' have sally out at the beginning as well was definitely a very... It was ballsy, but it obviously paid off, man. Like, they got... One, they slowed them down. Two, they definitely got more hero kills. If, like, leadership-wise was roughly the same, we don't know, because obviously they lost cavalry and uh, Eden lost a lot of infantry, but it definitely worked out for them. Yeah, there was... And when we were calling, like, that, sitting in the alleyways... A a bad, bad move, and they were just baiting the treads out. Like they didn't get hit with a single treb until they were like right at the back, and they couldn't move anywhere anyway. So now they're just picking up all the heroes now here, but yeah. really killing everybody off. Well, they've still got twelve. Trying to survive as short bull running away, curse fly getting chased down as well. He'll be picked up. There's only two of them left. Don is standing on the wall. Well, getting spammed he's, by he's, Javcav. He's about to get chased by twelve dudes though. <laughs> yeah, G, that is. You see some GG in chats here from. Great defense. Considering the way it was at the start and the way the fact that Eden held them off on the B point, I thought they'd be able to get to the B uh, home point and not get them on the, the defense and catch them out quite quickly. But the rotation from grabbing B to home wasn't quick enough with the heroes to get on uh, cap as much as they probably could have. But yeah, it was a, overall a very, very solid sally out from uh, Liam Elias that then yeah. definitely made a 200 unit difference to start with, which. If you look at the end of it, there's always there's still more units available yeah. on the defense here, and obviously survived a lot more times in the. And they baited. Hero wise, they uh, only died twenty one times. So many trebs out. Like at the beginning when they sallied, yeah. I don't think a single treb hit until the very last one, and they only hit like they hit units that were already moving out the way, so they only killed maybe like four units with a treb, and then the yeah. whole way on the B bridge. Not a single one hit until they got, but they couldn't go anywhere else. They had to move forward and take a fight, but they'd baited out like seven or eight trebs on that bridge. Yeah, exactly. So Hydra AS Mag again, once again for Eden on top. Sexy Say, Kebab as well, um, deserved second place, well, especially heroes, with that one um, where he jumped off his horse and counted the, uh, I think it was cataphracts, weren't it? Where he completely stunned them yeah, so they couldn't get on the point when they tried to the yeah. point. Overnight picked up five hero kills as a pike player once again, 63 kills. Kind of middle of the road here, and then when you look at the defense, Lamb of the Cray picks up the MVP for that one. Five hero kills, twelve assists, eighty-six hero kills. Sephos Cray with twenty yeah, assists. Twenty assists. I just seen that as well. Very yeah. well played. And then yeah, some other good players in here. Mizak with the uh, the five hero kills. You've got Crow the Mercenary as well. He's a shot. Picked up five hero kills uh, during Biggie, that battle. Nineteen yeah. assists as well, mid table for for Elias. 
Very when you look well uh, when you look at that post match analysis at the end here now you'll see as well it was a lot of kills at the Sally out. Um yeah. Pretty similar uh, in terms of deaths and from both sides, but I think in terms of the the overall unit death wise was similar, leadership yeah. yeah cost it was obviously worse off for Eden than it was for uh, Blame Elias because a lot of it was Jav Cap and uh, you're not really going to lose much in terms of Jav Cap for that in comparison to what you're losing if like you're using Jav Sergeants or even Porta Brasio, for example. Um, but yeah, the um, difference in deaths here hero wise. It's definitely a stronger defense uh, side definitely. from Flame Elise. Flame Elise flipped on its head from the last two matches where Eden basically had in both the first two rounds the, the hero death advantage, let's say. They were they were absolutely murdering Blame Elise on the first two matches on Reganopolis. And uh, Elias completely flipped it over this time. Like Very well yeah. played though, man. It was a very very good defense. I'm going to be interesting to see if this goes to game four. Yep. Uh, like, well, game five, sorry, after this one. It's yeah. chance. Do you reckon, do you reckon <laughs> even games out, do games are moving even quickly, like... aren't they, guys? Yeah. All right. Do you reckon... I wonder. Yeah. All right. So we are on to a game four. Uh, Mark, you're still in a running for 3 to 1 Eden and Nine Fingers. Still a chance, of course, for 3 to 2. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, but the, <laughs> right yeah. now, uh, the viewers are, are behind. Uh, Blame Elias have to make up two more games. Uh, to see if they can uh, still win this third place match. Um, but what a great game. I really enjoyed this on Lagrande like, Gloire. Um, is this anything that you expected from this very first game on Lagrande like, Gloire for in a tournament scene? Uh, I didn't expect it. I thought it was going to be. Mm. Yeah. Like, I thought that was a last ditch effort from Blame Elias. They were like, you know. 2 0 down. We'll just we'll risk it. See what happens. <laughs> if it works off, it works off. If tournament but yeah. um, and lose the first place position but believe it worked out for blame Melis and uh, I don't know if that was part of the strategy from the very get go or mm -hmm. if it was a thrown in strategy that's, so that's something no we have idea. to find out man because that is the question yeah. were they always going to sally out or was that a we've already lost we've got nothing to lose let's just go for it mm -hmm. yeah but